hi guys and welcome to another video so in this video we're gonna go deeper talking about streams in c-sharp so let me just um start to start by saying that there are many ways to work with with files in c-sharp so i'm just gonna show you guys uh, one of the most uh, i think one of the most uh interesting things in c-sharp there is to understand the class the, the hierarchy of things in c-sharp so we have the the classes to work with streams in c-sharp we have file stream which you guys i know already know we have memory stream which we're going to talk about and we have string uh, and we have gzip string okay uh, which is not here i think now but what well, let's just talk about this three, three classes three classes classes okay yeah so we have stream memory stream and file stream so these two these two these first two are bases or are inherited from this class so if you have to work with streams you should not use those two okay you should not use these two you should use this last one so if you have to implement a method and you want this method to work with to this one and this one you should use this one okay so i'm gonna show you guys exactly how this works by creating a class that's called private and it needs to be static because we are in a static environment but let's call it copy and this copy class uh, actually this copy method we will take two arguments actually three arguments the first one is the stream so remember to use stream instead of file stream or memory stream when working with streams in c-sharp let's call it stream in uh, stream stream out and the buffer size let's call buffer size so we're gonna create this method you guys already know how to do this eight bytes red equals zero uh, byte array buffer equals new byte array buffer by uh, buffer size and let's create our method while bytes red equals stream m dot ran dot read uh, buffer buffer um buffer zero zero and buffer dot length and that's greater than zero we're gonna be copying writing uh, stream out dot write um buffer Let's go back buffer zero and bytes red. Okay, so that's basically the math that we need. So this works for both cases, which is great because if you want to copy a stream, you could pass a file stream or a memory stream to this method, and it would work because these two streams, these three, these two classes actually. Sorry guys, I'm kind of. <laughs> kind of have trouble in speaking right now uh those two are inherited from this class stream so that's why you should use this class instead client okay so let's uh, show an example so uh, if you want to copy file uh, files you could do using uh stream okay you could do file stream actually let's do file stream file stream uh, stream m let's call it stream red equals new file stream we need to pass a file let me find the file here guys uh, let me find the file quickly a uh, file let's use VLC okay just to demonstrate um, let's go past this file uh, remember file mode file mode dot open and file access dot read okay and let's pass let's create another file stream which is going to is going to be our stream stream right equals new file stream let's pass here VLC dot access and file mode dot create and file 
access dot right okay so you guys can see that we have two file streams okay uh, and we're gonna use this copy method here copy and it takes two streams okay so you guys can see the order which is stream read first stream read and stream write stream write and we need the buffer size so the buffer size is in bytes so let's pass 400 4096 um and let's uh, finish this now let's execute i know that i'm going quite fast but i need to get this point ahead so this is our program let's just type in key to execute it's done let's go back to that folder and you guys can see that we have vlc here and it has the same size as the original file so if we you guys can see here this is the original file um the same size of the the cop copied one okay same size so it works so you guys can see that it works for file streams but it also works for memory streams and gzip streams as well so i i think that you guys should see that this is the best way to work with streams in c sharp just to keep in mind that this is the way to do also there is other ways you guys in which you guys could get this uh, ahead so i'm just going to demonstrate another method and uh, which you guys could use this as well so let's delete all this we have that method uh to get a streams in sharp to get a stream it's quite easy uh, let's use the class file info for instance uh file info fi equals new file info and we're gonna pass the original file of vlc okay yeah i need to copy again uh let's go to properties and security and get the full path copy and paste okay okay so this is the file info uh and this is where we're gonna go with this method so we're gonna pass the method copy and to get a stream just use fi.openread okay this will return a stream so we're gonna pass to that method and to get a stream uh, out i could create a new file info as well or i could create a new file on uh, a new stream file so to demonstrate that this class here it's from the file stream i'm gonna create a new stream let's call stream equals um, out equals new file stream new file stream we'll call vlc2.x eggs i don't know how to pronounce that file mode dot create and file access dot write okay uh, we need to pass the out and i cannot use that out out file let's call out file because out is a reserved keyword uh, out file and the buffer let's pass 200 2048 okay uh let's execute and we should see another file in that folder as well so you guys can see let me see wait uh, what's the what's that file oh i see yeah I should have put vlc2 yeah that's my bad but this file is another file guys I can prove by showing the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not worth it really. But you guys can test by yourselves, okay? So yeah. Okay. Uh, you guys can see by yourselves by doing this. You guys can test it out on your settings, on your setting. So you guys can see this is very handy. Uh, if you only have this method, you can pass multiple streams. You can use the file info both to get a, a stream from a file to to a output file and that and so on. So thank you guys for watching this video. I know that I, I've been doing this video quite fast, but I need to to get other points across. So thank you again, guys. Thank you guys, guys for watching this guys next time.